I'm Ron from Coleno, the leading suite app to chase your invoices, collect the payments, and then reconcile in the end seamlessly integrated with NetSuite. And in this tutorial, we're discussing how to create billing schedules in NetSuite using advanced billing. With billing schedules, you can set up automatic invoicing based on a specific timeline or contract term, which is perfect for recurring memberships or long-term service contracts. So let's go through the steps. Remember that the billing schedule in NetSuite helps you define how and when to bill your customers over a period. And you can set it up to bill monthly, quarterly, or even on custom terms, making it flexible for different types of contract. For example, here we go to list, accounting, billing schedules, and new. So on the form here, you first need to give a name to your billing schedule, for example, 10% up quarterly to reflect the schedule details try to do something that you will remember enter an initial amount billed on the first invoice for example 500 this can be a dollar amount or a percentage of the total sale and then you need to choose the payment terms so you select the terms for the first payments from the field that you have here for example let's take this one randomly you then have the recurrence frequency to select how often you want the invoice to occur. So daily, weekly, quarterly uh, or custom where you can enter also recurrence count. So the number of subsequent payments you want the order amount divided in two as well as set up your custom recurrence here, which you can do. If you want subsequent bills to depend on the previous bills date, check uh, relative to previous. So it will be this one here. Remember to uh, subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful so you don't miss out on more NetSuite insights. And then once you are done, so let's say I put a count of 10 and uh, here I could tick this like I said, then I can also enter the amount which specifies how much to bid in each recurring instance. You can enter this as a dollar amount or as a percentage of the sale. The recurrence count that you will do here that we've, uh, we've looked into already tells you the number of invoices generated after the initial billing and it will count this count that you put there. It will determine how often to bill for the remainders. And if you have the ability, then click on in arrears, which means that invoices are billed at the end of each period and then check if you want billing to occur at the start. And when you're happy, you just uh, click on save to finalize your billing schedules. To prevent overbilling, please review the billing schedules with mixed dollar and percentage fields carefully. The public versus private billing schedules, if they are created as private, they are visible only in the transactions where they made, while the public ones must be created from an estimate of sales order. So if this guide was helpful, please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.